Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 55. Today we're going to be diving into Acts chapter 2 verses 14 through 24. We're going to be talking about Peter preaches to the crowd. This is part one. Next week we're going to get into the other part of Peter preaches to the crowd. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer by me. We're going to be led by me today and the end of prayer will be done by me. So if you guys can, please bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. It is now it's about to get into the time of reading your word, God. We pray that your hand will best cover the word, God. We pray that as we seek the Holy Spirit will be able to speak to us today, God. We just pray that you continue to be with us each and every day, God. Reveal your word unto us, God. And we pray that we'll have an amazing interpretation and understanding of your word, God. We pray that we continue to learn in your word, God, each and every single day, God. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we begin into the reading of the word. We're going to begin into Acts chapter 2, verses 14 through 24. Peter preaches to the crowd. Peter preaches to the crowd. Then Peter stepped forward with the eleven other apostles and shouted to the crowd, Listen carefully, all of you, fellow Jews and residents of Jerusalem. Make no mistake about this. These people are not drunk, as some of you are assuming. Nine o'clock in the morning is much too early for that. Know what you see was predicted long ago by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. In those days, I will pour out my spirit, even on my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy, and I will cause wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will become dark and the moon will turn blood red before that great and glorious day of the Lord arrives. But everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. People of Israel, listen. God publicly endorsed Jesus the Nazarene by doing powerful miracles, wonders, and signs through him, as you well know. But God knew what would happen, and his prearranged plan was carried out when Jesus was betrayed. With the help of lawless Gentiles, you nailed him to a cross and killed him. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life, for death could not keep him in its grip. Now we get into my notes and my thoughts of the day. In verse 14, I wrote down that Peter came in and told the truth, because... Um, in our previous episode of Bible study, we talked about how the people started to speak and the Jews came in and was kind of on defense. Some of them uh, believed in it and others saying that they were drunk. So Peter came in and told the truth of what was happening. It was the Holy Spirit speaking through the people and they started to um, glorify God and talk about the wonderful things that he had done. And he clarified that they are drunk because it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's too early for that as mentioned in verses 15 and then verses 16 i said that this event was predicted a long time ago by prophet joe and it's a significant and a recurring thing a lot of things that happened later on in the bible it was already said that was gonna happen and now it was coming to light in verses 18 i wrote that god said that he would pour out his spirit onto his servant and men and women alike will prophesy they will prophesy about how great he is, how mighty he is, and just give him the ultimate rejoice. And then in verses 20, verses 20 is actually a significant verse because here in verses 20, it's, it's not predicting what is going to happen. It's telling you the way that Jesus is going to come back. It says, the sun will darken, the moon will turn blood red before the great and glorious day of the Lord arrives. And in verses 21, it says, But everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, which is a very key and important scripture. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And it's very important for us to be saved. And once we're saved, we're going to continue our process into learning more about God, learning more about Him, His his word and uh, just continue to let him lead and seek so that the holy spirit can speak onto you and for verses 22 through our uh, last verse of 24 i wrote down everything was planned and led back to the glory of god because his debt could not hold jesus because everything was already planned out uh 
the people got to witness Jesus being crucified, which was mentioned um, from before, but Jesus being crucified needed to happen in order to bring glory back to the Heavenly Father. Because in John 3, 17, said, For God not sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. His purpose of coming into the world was fulfilled in order to die for us so that our sins can be forgiven and the glory came right back to the heavenly father and when jesus was on the earth i was like the fact that jesus always gave his heaven gave his father credit for everything he said my ways are not of my own it's coming straight from the heavenly father and this completes our reading and our discussion for the word of today now we get into our closing prayer heavenly father i thank you i praise you i worship you god i thank you for being with me today, God, as I continue to learn your word, God. I pray as I seek, the Holy Spirit will speak unto me, God. I pray I continue to learn each and every day, God. I pray for the same thing for my peers, God, and everybody around the world, that they continue to seek so the Holy Spirit can speak unto them, God. We love you and thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. This was the end of the Bible study video, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming back to another episode of Bible study. This is Bible study episode 55. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Please turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload, YouTube will send you a notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>